Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. In this video, instead of opening up packs, I've done a troll and toad order and I wanted to share with you guys a walkthrough on how to do it and what you should be doing once it arrives. Now Troll and Toad is an international website and in my opinion and from the research I've done and from experience I'd say this is the world's leading online retailer for individual cards for your collection not just Pokemon but lots of other things as you can see they've got sports cards Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon now here's my package I'm going to open this up show you what's inside but first I want to do a little walkthrough on how you would go about doing a troll and toad order so just like any shopping website you go to the website which is trollandtoad.com then in the search bar if you know what card you're looking for you can search for it so for example if I wanted to buy this card this Swirlix I could type in Swirlix S-W-I-R-L-I-X and then hit enter and it will show all of the Swirlix cards available to sell you can choose from the cheap option or the more expensive option and also between which quality you would like the card so your near mint um, played condition um, lightly played damaged they, they really have lots lots of different conditions now typing in the name of the Pokemon will bring up every single result that they have so as you can see there's all the different Swirlix they have obviously the one that I want to buy was this one just an example and that's this one here so if I want to buy it I will add it to the cart just like that now the other way you can search for cards let's say for example this Beedrill and let's say because Beedrill is a generation 1 Pokemon and there's probably hundreds of different Beedrill cards it would take forever to search for it so what we want to do to narrow down the search bar is we use the set number down the bottom here 003 over 198 so this is chilling rain you want to type in the search bar at the top Beedrill like this Beedrill exactly how it's spelt and then as it says here three over three over one nine eight now if you press enter instead of searching through all of the cards it just comes up with the exact one you're looking for so as you can see we've got the rare reverse hollow version over here which is out of stock so unfortunately we can't add it to the order but they also have a hollow rare so let's add this one to the order this is a, the one we want just for the example now Troll and Toad is one of the best and leading websites for selling cards because of the range of cards they have so they go all the way back to base sets so you can find yourself a base set Charizard I believe it's 4 over 102 so we'll just type in Charizard 4 over 102 and you can see it's got not just English as you see here this is the English unlimited near mint English card um, that they've also got you know you've got shadowless um, but you've also got scroll down you've got this one you've got German first edition Gulorak and then you've got some other languages like the Spanish one so they've really got everything they're very well stocked in Troll and Toad so now let's say you've, you've got the cards you wanted uh, you go to your, your little basket here's all the cards I need to finish my set now we scroll all the way down to the bottom subtotal 263 just remember that this is in US dollars so if you're importing these to a, another country just try and check up on your import and custom laws that you don't go over the the maximum amount before you start getting charged on import taxes so in Australia you want to keep the total to like less than a thousand Australian dollars otherwise you're going to be paying like 10% import tax now just go through your order just check that you've got one of each because sometimes you might have accidentally pressed it twice 
So you've got one copy of all the ones you want. Yep, that's fine. And then you click here, secure checkout. And this will take you to the page where you put your delivery details, etc. Um, you'll see it's secure. So here you can trust it. It's a very good website. And they also have a, a code at the moment. So I'm not gonna show my address, but you can change your address here. If you wanted to, you just edit or add your address. You'll have to make an account as well before you check out. And then you can choose between um, this promotional one, which is the USPS promotional. So if you spend over like 75 US dollars, they give you $5 shipping. Or you can choose the more expensive ones. I definitely recommend going the more expensive options if you're spending close to 2000 Australian dollars just so that there's like insurance and tracking on your order. But then over here, you wanna use a coupon. There's one going around at the moment called TCA5 from TCA Gaming. It's not big, but it's like a 1% discount and it all adds up in the end. I'm, like, I'm saving $7 there, so that's pretty good. Then you wanna click this button here and then complete order and that'll take you, sorry, I'm gonna click through this first. And then the next one, PayPal, yes, click that. And then just check your order again like we did before. Add any notes, smiley face. Thank you. And then click here to complete your order. I'm not gonna do that now, but that takes you to your PayPal page and you just choose which accounts you wanna take the money out of. Now here we have here, my Troll and Toad order, which has arrived. And we're just gonna open this, show you what's inside and also what you're supposed to do once it arrives. So I believe in here there might be a list of what I've purchased, but just in case there isn't, I, I wrote a list of what I've got here. Now what you want to do at this point, when it arrives, you want to film opening it up because sometimes when you make big orders, they can make mistakes and put cards in here that you didn't order or forget to add cards that you ordered or even add cards that are the wrong condition to what you've paid. So you have a little checklist here and you cross off the ones that you order, just check everything's there. And then if you have any issues, you've got video proof that what they sent you is an error and you just contact Troll and Toad through their support and they'll either give you a refund for what's missing or if there's a damaged one, they can sort you out for something, some sort of compensation for that or even you can send it back for a full refund See, they're, they're very accommodating for how they deal with issues. Troll and Toad, I definitely recommend them. Um, this one here arrived in about five days because I had UPS. So USPS takes a fair bit longer, but UPS is the uh, the more expensive option, and but it, it takes much less time. So if you want a quick option to Australia, I'm not sure what other countries are, but definitely use UPS. So it's quite difficult to open. They pack this really well. They're, they're quite good with the quality of packaging. So we got Lugia in the background there, giving us good luck. Hopefully our pulls here end up being safe, good quality. This is what we want. Uh, okay. I don't know if I'm opening this right. So in here we've got some protective bubbles. We've got cards in in a big sleeve plus bubble wrap, very well protected. There's some more. We've even got the uh, the Lugia I wanted, really nice. They added this in a top loader, so that's that's very good. Look at that, it's very good condition as well. That's the Lugia I needed for my Lost Thunder set. And then just checking if there's anything else. We've got some more protective gear, and that's that's about it. So now what we want to do is go through our list and just check off everything, just make sure everything is here. And then once you've done with that, you can go play with your cards, put them in their sleeves in your folder, put them in your decks, do whatever you need. So I'm just going to go through oh, 
this might take a little little bit of time. So if you made it this far and you've got the general gist of how to make a troll and toad order, you're welcome to go ahead and do that. Otherwise, if you want to enjoy seeing what I've bought from Troll and Toad, hang around and see my little purchases. So even though every card is not individually sleeved, it's still well protected enough inside the bags with the padding. And then now what we're going to do is just check the condition. So we'll start with all the ultra rares because I put that on the pages by themselves. So, oops. <laughs> so we've got Guard of War. Hyper Rare. This is near mint. Checks out on the back, very good. And the front, nice. So you see that little bend there? Sometimes cards will get that when their temperature becomes quite cool. They'll start warping up because as the card is printed, it comes from a roll of paper, especially the holographic ones. Um, the, the paper, the printing is much more dense on the paper than it is on the, on the film. So the cool air kind of pulls the foil together. So once you put this back in a sleeve in your binder, it should be fine, but that's not actually damaged and you shouldn't really be worried if it's like this. So put it in a sleeve or a top loader into your book and you'll be happy as Larry. So what have we got here? We've got the Galisso pod. This is near mint, very nice on the front. Okay, nice on the back. Okay, that's good, good start. So we're coming, we've got Gardevoir and Galissapon, so I'm going to find these on our list and mark them off. Okay, Galissapod, full art, uh, we've got Gardevoir, G for Gardevoir, uh, Hyper Rare, very good. This is Galissapod Hyper Rare, good looking front, it's good back bit off center but you're not paying for like PSA graded cards here guys you're paying for new mint cards and this one would probably be like a an eight these got these guys are running a business too so if they could grade anything that's a 10 most likely they would have sent it off to grade as a 10 then sell it as that but they sometimes they do sell um, 10 quality individual cards like these Kiawe full art, very nice front. In the back, a little bit of a white dot up there, but that's still near mint. It'd probably be like a seven with that one. I'm not grading these, these are just for my set. So I'm just cross off Kiawe, and we've got Galisapod full art. And the GX Hyper Rare Galisapod. We've got a um, Marchamp from Burning Shadows. Nice looking card on the front and the back. Nice, very good, good quality. Got Necrozma, Full Art GX. Nice, nice. Necrozma. And then the Marchamp. that out. Plume Era. Full Art. That's nice. Just checking all of these are near mint. I haven't bought any damaged ones so everything should be near mint and if they're not we'll just email Troll and Toad and get them to sort us out. With that we've got Salazal GX Hyper Rare. Nice, nice Salazzle GX Hyper Rare. Yeah. Super Scoop Up. Secret. It's a bit of food or something there that just rubs off. That's fine. Super Scoop Up. Kind of fun just crossing them off the list too. 
Tapu Bulu GX Full Art. Yep, that's all right. So these are near mint cards. They don't advertise any mint cards. Because they understand some are going to have like tiny little imperfections like this. Tapu Bulu Full Art. There's our Tapu Bulu Hyper Rare. Nice, nice looking card here. And on the back, that's fine. There we go, Tapu Bulu Hyper, that goes this one. Next is Wick. Some people really like this card. Look at the texture. Some people say this is a their waifu card. There's a, a couple of reasons I, I think they're talking about that, but I prefer to keep this conversation G-rated, so I'll let you do with that information what you want. So the edge is a little bit frayed up there, but that's okay. It's only a tiny bit of damage there. That's uh, still near mint. We've got an Articuno GX here. It's gonna mark off Wick. And get into Articuno GX. Now Wick Full Art. Now this is a nice card. Look at that. Centering's not too bad. Probably some of the better centering than the other ones I've bought so far. The back's looking really clean as well. Oh, it's going straight into the set. So we're gonna try and finish Lost Thunder. So Articuno Hyper Rare. Now we've got Blaziken GX here. The full art. Very clean, very nice. And there's our Hyper Rare. Very cool. Very well centered. This is one of the better ones too. Very clean on all the edges. This is probably your PSA 10 quality card. So they say near mint, but sometimes you get cards like this which are actually mint and do deserve the higher grade. So if you were going to grade cards like this, okay, the front's off a little bit, so it wouldn't be a 10. But if you were gonna grade cards like this, can try your chances with Troll and Toad, but I wouldn't recommend it. I'd, I'd mainly use Troll and Toad if you're trying to complete your sets with near mint versions of your cards, and they're just going into your binders. Now we've got some hollows here. I'm just gonna check through this pile if there's any more ultra rares, because we're just gonna go through the ultra rares first. Okay, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 in that pile. We've got Galarian Surfetched V, Full Art. Nice, this is a nice card, very, very good centering on the back. Nice on the front. This is a good card. It's one of the cheaper ones, it's only cost me about $3. But that would be a very well graded card if you were to send that out. That's how Galarian Surfetched V. Got our Zeri Aura V here. Need for the Chilling Rain set. Nice, good quality. Lipard V Full Art. This is our Chilling Rain Full Arts. This is very flat, so you can tell this one has been sitting in their store for less time than the ones that have been warped. And very well centered. I'm surprised to see this well centered. Chilling Rain has been notorious for having poor centering, so this is very nice to see. Nice full art there with the Lipard. Just gonna cross out the Lipard V over here and the Lipard Full Art is there right next to each other. So here you can see the terrible centering. 
that I'm usually expecting to see on the Chili Rain cards. Here we have Verizion GX Hyper Rare from Lost Thunder. Centering on this one is quite off on the left, as you can see on the back. You do have a spot up here, that's fine. It's nothing too bad. Centering's not bad on the back. Okay, let's grab our pen and cross off Verizion. Hmm. Maybe I forgot to add it to my list. It was right up here. Verizon GX Hyper Rare. Cross that out. I must have forgot to add it to my list. I've got Tyranitar GX. So this on the back here is not very good. It's quite a cheap card, but I'm not happy with that. Right in the middle, it's not a corner. You can't just ignore that. So I'm gonna put this one to the side and probably message Troll and Toad about that one. So we've got our Tyranitar GX there. We've got Spell Tag. Uh, secret Rare, very nice. Spell Tag Secret Rare. We've got our Sigalith GX, our regular. Sigalif GX, nice. Sigalif GX. Good, our full art Sigalif GX. It's a bit off center. Back's fine. Tiny little bit of edge wear on the corners, but that's that's fine. Sigalif GX. So I'll just show you the difference between that Sigalif GX and the Tyranitar on the back. So as you can see, it's much more noticeable the damage on the top of the Tyranitar here than it is on the corners of that Sigalith GX. So these, this would actually become lightly played, moderately played, or damaged. In my opinion, this is probably damaged. It's pretty, pretty bad. So I'd be going to show that one to Troll and Toad and see what they can do about it. We've got Shuckle GX here, the full art. And some tiny little spots down there, that's fine. Shuckle GX. That's the full art here. We've got Morty, full art from a Lost Thunder. This is a cool card. Look at that. Nice. Morty, like from Rick and Morty over here. I don't know why I wrote Morty GX. <laughs> on my list I wrote Morty GX full art then we got a Mimikyu this is a nice card beautiful centering is pretty good on the front too this is about like the best you can get for the Sun and Moon sets very good centering on the front and on the back we've got uh, the white spots so you can see why they're, they've sold this card instead of sending it off to get graded it's a couple of white spots up there but that's fine that's nothing too terrible to worry about. Got that Mimikyu there, I'm gonna cross that off. And cross off the other Mimikyu. The other Mimikyu over here. So getting very close to finishing all the ultra rares. Mimikyu here looking good. A few spots down the bottom on the corners, that's not bad. And Cargo GX from Lost Thunder. One of the better quality standard ultra rares. Cross him off. We've got Alolan Nine Tails. Nice looking full art here. The texture's great. Really works well with this card being the ice type. You've got these little crystalline fragments like ice. Centering's not bad on the back. It's one of the better ones. This would probably grade pretty high. You can see there's not really much damage at all on the edges and corners. This would be a good one to send off to grade. This is all just hypothetical. I'm not actually gonna send any of these off to grade. These are just going into my sets, but I'm just showing you guys in case you're still watching that these card qualities, they vary a lot 
from like binder cards to cards you can actually send off to get to grade. But don't expect them all to be like the Alolan Ninetales. I've got a Viker Vault GX here. Hyper Rare, very nice looking card. Good quality on the front and the back. A little bit off center, but that's very clean. Happy with that. And the Wishy Washy GX. Guardians Rising, Hyper Rare. Interesting Pokemon they added to the game. Changes forms when it schools together with other ones of its species. Pretty cool. Very nice. And then we've got Tapu Koko. Guardians Rising Hyper Rare. Very clean front. Very clean back. A little bit off center. Some sort of bit of food or something down here. You can see that dot next to my finger, but that's fine. Como OGX, Guardians Rising, Hyper Rare. Very nice front, back, a little bit of corner edge wear. That is also fine, that's a nice card. And then we've got lastly for Guardians Rising, the Decidueye GX Hyper Rare. Wow, I love this Pokemon. This was the starter Pokemon I chose in my run through of Sun and Moon. Really cool looking Pokemon here. Nice back, couple of white dots. A bit of food should come off up there, that should come off. There, that came off. That's good, so there's a little bit of white dots, that's all right. That's still near mint, so we're just gonna cross these off. So we've got Wishy Washy Hyper Rare. We've got the Tapu Coco Hyper Rare. Fica Vault, Hyper Rare, Como, Hyper Rare, Pokey Nav from Celestial Storm, Secret Rare, very nice quality, a little bit off centered on the back, and then we've got Mr. Mime GX from Celestial Storm, very nice, very well centered on the back, that's a good quality card too. So cross that off, just checking out this Lugia now. And then there should be a couple of other uh, ultra rares in the other pile. I'm just gonna go through those, and if we have time, I might go through the reverse hollows too, just to check everything's there. Lugia GX. This one's very well centered. Doesn't seem to be any damage at all. Not even white spots on the corners. This is very good. It's a shame this is going in the set because that would have been a very good card to grade. For the minute, I'm just going to stick it over here next to Lugia. Put the Lugias together. Let's make sure I cross that off the list. So now we've just got one, two, three, four, five, six cards left. Hi, ultra rares. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should be it. And then we've got this really cool platinum hollow. So these should all be reverse hollows and such. Yep. Okay, so let's just go through this. We've got Giratina Platinum Hollow. Wow, this is so nice. Even got a hollow bleed at these behind the moon such a cool card in the back a few white spots that's okay very nice now we've got our shining fa uh, hidden fates textured shining cards we've got charmeleon very nice very clean very clean back magnezone very clean that's nice as well look at that Back very good. Got Eevee. That was one of the more expensive ones and it's great condition. Centering's off just a tad. But this is probably a strong nine. PSA nine centering is the only flaw I see here. There's no damage at all on the edges or corners. So this one is a very good card. 
unless there's some microscopic dimp that I can't see on the texture. That's a good quality one. We've got the Scyther. Very nice front and the back. Very good. And type null over here. These are all shiny variants, so they're all different colors and they're meant to be in the game. Type null looks very nice. And our last ultra rare is the choice band from Burning Shadows. Very off center. On the back, a little bit of edge wear up here. It's not terrible. What are those? Are they dents? Hmm. I don't like the dents on this card. So the, the edge wear is fine, but the dents on the back, it's not good. So that's that's not one I'm quite happy to have. I think I'm gonna put this in the pile of Tyranitar GX and I'm gonna send that back to Troll and Toad. We'll see what they can do about it. So now we've finished our ultra rare list. Checking off the list here, we've got all the shinies and shiny scyther and choice bands so they've added everything they haven't forgotten anything so that's good and then quickly going through the list of these are all the plasma team plasma storm check out all the plasma ones first Going to quickly run through them, see what quality they are, and then check them off the list to make sure everything's there. Okay, we've got Dradigon. Nice. Explode. That's fine. We've got Drurand. There we go, that's fine as well. Gallade. A little bit of edge wear. That's bearable. That's fine. I've got a coughing. That's all right. Lampent. Yep. A Lunatone. Mm hmm. Magnemite. Magneton. That's all right. We've got Monferno. Yep. Pile of Swine. That's all right. We've got Perloin. Tiny bit of edges, but that's alright. We've got Riolu here. Bit of edge down the bottom right, that's fine. Sharpedo. Bit of sides, whitening on the side, that's okay. We've got Squirtle here. One of the better centered ones. Tiny bit of damage on the edges. And Torterra. That's alright. All the plasma ones are there. Plasma Sharpedo, Plasma Gallade, Durant, there's a Platinum Hollow Giratina, Plasma Coughing, Plasma Magnet Might. Let's check out X Bloud was there as well. I don't remember seeing X Bloud. There's the X Bloud, okay, cool. And then over the page, there was a Plasma Dridagon. And Plasma Lampent, Pile of Swine, Plasma Lunatone, and Riolu. Great. Now just checking off the other ones on the list. Go by sets this time. So we've got Celestial Storm here. Burning Shadows. That's some more Celestial Storm. Fates, Lost Thunder here, Chilling Rain, 
So I can see right now that all the Chilling Rain cards are here. They haven't missed any, because these are all the ones I'm missing for my set. So just checking the backs real quick. Yep, that checks out. So all the Chilling Rain cards are there. And now all we have to do is check the uh, reverses are here from Lost Thunder and Celestial Storm. So we got start with Celestial Storm here. Pay the foundation. Got Chikorita. Oh, that's a Lost Thunder one. Oh, these are all Lost Thunder. So we'll start with Lost Thunder. So we got Chikorita. Yep, Cabaleons. This is what usually where they make the mistakes, they'll forget some of the cheaper cards. So you really want to be paying attention here with the, the reverse hollows. I've got Dedane. Fairy Charm. Foratress. Lapras. Mill tank. Moltres. Let's cross off all the chilling rain ones. The Moltres. Here we've got Typhlosion. Lost Thunder, Unknown, from Lost Thunder, and the last card from Lost Thunder here is Cabaleon, Hollow. Now what we want to do is now we crossed off the Lost Thunder ones, there isn't any missing, just quickly go through the backs, check they're all fine, yep, 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 okay that's good, that will be fine, we've got some Hidden Fates and Burning Shadows ones here, two Hidden Fates here and then Burning Shadows, just checking the backs, that's fine. And the Burning Shadows Rails. Okay, that's good. So we'll cross those off the list. Hidden Fates Electrode, Hidden Fates Misty, Burning Shadows, Rails. And now we've got finally the Celestial Storm. So we got, just gonna check the backs. Yep, yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Okay. Now that one isn't very good. But I can't really be bothered trying to get a refund on a reverse hollow when it's like 30 cents. So we'll just keep that. That's fine. Okay. So crossing off, we've got two victory bells. Where was the second one? There we go. Crossing off the victory bells, we've got our eye dose. It's one. I think it's just one eye dose. Yep. One, two deoxys. There should be a third one there. There's the third one. Crossing that off. Deoxys. Oh, 
Deoxys. Deoxys. Okay. We've got the Lunala Reverse Hollow. So we can cross that off the list. And the Fisherman. We've got that here as well. Lunala. Where are you? So got the Kyogre Reverse Hollow here, so you can cross that off. Don't know where Lunala is on the list, but it's there somewhere. We've got Mawile here. There should be a non-hollow Mawile as well. There we go. So we can cross off both the Mawiles. And there should be two circuits. So we've got normal and our reverse holo so we can cross off the two circuits we've got the swamp out reverse holo here so that cross off the list then we've got plusle interesting that they sent the plusle last time i bought this exact card they never actually sent it so i had to get a refund on it but it's nice that it's there this time we've got the plusle scyther from Celestial Storm, the Reverse Holo. We've got Shrine of Punishment, Reverse Holo. Tate and Lisa, Reverse Holo, and Delcati Holo. So Delcati Holo here, Tate and Lisa, there. And there's our Lunala. So I'm just going to quickly show you the list now, everyone. Everything that I have ordered has been crossed off. Just want to make sure that there was a Typhlosion there again. I don't remember seeing it. So I think they sent the wrong Typhlosion. So I'm pretty sure I bought a holo and they sent the reverse holo so I'm just gonna quickly go on after this video check that so I'm gonna put that to the side as well something they're gonna to have to replace but I'm pretty sure everything else they've done correctly so yeah it all checks out very good I definitely recommend troll and toad guys you want to finish your sets go and get troll and toad order put in the, the cards you need and Get them sent over to you, finish those sets. Thank you very much, guys, on watching this video with me. Some of the good pulls again. There's the Lugia and my Lugia in the back. Just like that. Nice little Lugia here. Don't cheap out on shipping options when you're buying a lot of cards as well, guys. Make sure you're, you're paying for decent shipping. And if you have issues, Contact their customer support, email them, send them photos of the cards that you got that were um, damaged. And just in case they ask for extra proof, you've, you've recorded it, as I've shown you in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you learn something from this. I hope you go out and buy some cards from Troll and Toad and use the information I shared with you to help make yourself more aware and how to protect yourself online and how to go about buying some from, from their website. Definitely recommend it off, off that. Now, peace out, guys. I'm going to have some fun for the next few hours and put these into the binder, and all of these cards need sleeves. So have a good night. I'm going to have a good one too. See you later, guys. See you next video.